A very good morning, my dear loving children, and welcome to Vidya Nagar Public Schools online class. In the last class, we were discussing the chapter, chapter four, saving chilika, and in that chapter, we have been discussing about the journalistic piece of writing which was written by Ganga Dharamanon, where he is talking about the lake called Chilika. Where is it? Yes, it is in Odisha, and it is a half salt water, half fresh water lake, right? And it is having seventy kilometers in length and thirty kilometers in breadth, and we we call it Asia's largest brackish lake. And we discuss the kinds of species of plants and animals and the kind of birds, uh, which. comes to the lake called chilika and the kind of habitat that we have discussed right and we saw how the man named nanda kishore is going to take initiative to protect the bird birds and other animals in that place yes when nanda kishore was very young boy he actually shot an egret that day he felt very sad and years later he is coming back to the place chilika right yes and what he is witnessing he saw the number of birds has dwindled down right dwindle means decreased so he felt very sad and that day he took a decision he took a vow that he will do his best to preserve to protect these mm-hmm. birds. when he talked with the nearby people he came to know that the birds were actually poached by the uh, dirty dozen what is dirty dozen a group led by a man named madhu behra there we stopped in our last class so today we will continue with our lesson uh, page number 40 page number 40 second paragraph so all of you please keep your textbook with you when i read okay Nanda Kishore met the members of the group and explained why they should stop poaching the birds. He also explained that the forest officials had put the lake under surveillance because it was now on the red list. The poachers paid no heed to him and instead rudely asked him not to interfere with their livelihood. But Nanda Kishore refused to give up. He tried to garner support from the locals. This made the poachers so angry that one midnight, Madhu Behra, armed with weapons, went to Nanda Kishore's house and threatened him with dire consequences if he did not leave them alone. Nanda Kishore was not afraid. "Kill me if you must," he declared. "But spare the birds; they have nowhere else to go." What is there in this paragraph? Nanda Kishore went to meet these people in that group. and what happened when he talked about the need of protecting these uh, need of protecting and need of stopping the poaching of the birds what did they do they paid no heed what is the meaning of heed that means they paid no attention to him no attention paid no attention okay and what they did they said to him that you should not interfere into our livelihood like that they spoke right and what what was happening next they are coming as like we see in movies there is a scene that these people is coming to our uh, nanda kishore's home and he, they are warning him right a week later the dirty dozen were back at nanda kishore's doorstep only this time they were a transformed lot Nanda Kishore's words had touched Madhu deeply. The group had thrown their weapons into the lake and taken a pledge to save Chilika and all its dwellers. So what happened? Yes, these people got transformed. Means means changed a lot. And they threw the weapons into the ch- uh, Chilika, the lake, and they said they will protect the dwellers. Dwellers means what? Those who live in that place a person or animal that lives in a specified place is called the dwellers okay 
they had stood by that promise ever since when one of them broke the pledge he was expelled from the group and they handled him over the forest officials the team of 11 gradually expanded to over 50 with each of them taking the oath to protect chilika yes they kept their promise ever since okay and uh, if anyone is breaking that promise means they'll easily hand it, hand him over to the forest officials and uh, earlier it was almost only 11 members now it got expanded to 50 members Nanda Kishore realized that the poachers had extensive knowledge about the birds. They could identify the migratory birds that visited Chilika in winter. They could keep track of the time the birds started coming in and when they started going back. What they fed on, where they roosted, every other details of the birds. He decided to tap their knowledge. He held workshops for the ex-poachers and trained them to become nature guides they were taught the english names of these birds and they were also taught how to improve their communication skills both of which were necessary if they had to interact with the tourists and nature lovers what nanda kishore did nanda kishore understood that these people is having a very extensive very broad knowledge about these birds these species or and all about it so what he did he trained these people and he taught them the english language the names of the birds uh, in the, their english names and all he taught and here they know about when these birds will come to this place when they will go back what all things they what things were their food and where they roosted roosted means settled where they settled okay everything they knew so he taught in the english language and the names of the birds in english so that they can inter- interact with those foreigners who come forward to see this extraordinary sight chilika so they could earn from it right so in turn it became a livelihood for those people right Several organizations came forward to make Nanda Kishore's ecotourism efforts more successful. The Chilika Development Authority (CDA) gave them land to set up an office and interpretation center. They also provided equipment like binoculars and tents. The poachers and protectors patrolled the waterways of Chilika. They took nature lovers around in their boats. as they knew the whereabouts of each species and provided food to visitors the ones with superior communication skills became the guides the cda also opened up the mouth of the lake and restored the delicate balance of the water body what's happening here yes the many organizations also came forward and helped nanda kishore to make the project successful more successful and they gave they set up a an office for it and there they had binoculars and tents and what these people were doing they are taking these uh, nature lovers the visitors to uh, for showing all these things in the in that lake and uh, those who have superior communication became the guides there right yes finally what happened finally in 2002 chilika was removed from the red list and it is the only ecosystem in asia to have ever come out of that red list so in 2002 it became it got removed from the red list that is a very fine thing right yes and this is the only place only ecosystem in asia that has ever come out of that dreaded list dreaded means means very deadly very dangerous list it came out from that right yes so let's look at the question answers in the back of your text okay let's see the first question the two problems that led to chilika becoming a degraded site where a poaching b the lake losing its salinity c the migratory birds 
what is that answer will be b a and b right poaching is also a problem the lake losing its salinity is also a problem right second question seeing the twig in the egret's beak and the kishore dash what is it yes he realized that it was building its nest third question the dirty dozen came back to nanda kishore's house then what happened because his words had moved them right and the next question the former poacher were trained so that their vast knowledge of birds could be used read these lines from the text and answer the questions once again he felt a deep sense of guilt and vowed that he would do everything possible to save the birds who does he refers to he refers to whom nanda kishore bujpal right why had the person felt guilty earlier why did the person feel guilty now and so would be what yes as a young boy nanda kishore had once shot an egret right near the lake chilika then what happened yes the bird had fallen to the ground holding a twig in its mouth when nanda kishore realized that the egret must have been carrying the twig to build a nest he was filled with remorse right so you can find out these lines from the text and write it down or just mark in your textbook also okay right and next one what was the first thing he did to save the birds what was that the first thing that nanda kishore did was talk to the people in the neighboring villages he found out that the birds were being poached by the group called dirty dozen right the next question A week later, the dirty dozen were back at Nanda Kishore's doorstep. What had happened a week earlier? What happened? Here you can mark these lines. These are the answers. Next question: Why had the dirty dozen come back to Nanda Kishore's doorstep a week later? Here is the answer. You can mark these in your textbook. And next question: Why was this event so important in the history of Chilika? Why? This was important even in the history of Chilika, as the poachers went on to protect the birds of Chilika. The former poachers were trained to become the nature guides and helped in Nanda Kishore's eco tourism efforts. And the poachers sent protectors patrol the waterways. Today we will stop here, and the question answers in the grammar part in the chapter we will discuss in our next class. Thank you all.